What's up dudes and dudes to the air now my name is Seth and today we're going to be taking a look at the Dino Tamer class in Trove. Now this character is not currently on the console version of Trove but it will be eventually and because of that I'm making this video now to go out with all the other tutorials. This of course is the PC version but this is going to apply to the console version once it ends up updating to the point where this character comes into the game. But how you all doing? Hope you're doing great and I would very much appreciate if you would hit that like button. Helps me out very much. Now without further ado the Dino Tamer is going to be a DPS or damage per second character. Uh, while the game kind of implies that you can build him as a tank, you can't really. He honestly is not a very good tank and gets outshined by other characters. So build him towards DPS, which means as a range character, magic damage, uh, critical hit and critical damage. Those are going to be the ideal stats that you're going to go for on all of your gems. Uh, the class gem ability is going to be absolutely required because it's going to make it so that you can use your ultimate ability more often. Uh, and then for the next stat on your gear, of course, you're going to want to go for attack speed, attack speed, attack speed, because it's just going to be more damage. And the bulk of where this character shines is from his ultimate ability, because you're just going to cast your ult, and you're going to kill whatever's in the dungeon by throwing down one of your nets and just killing it right away. Honestly speaking, one of the things that I find so disappointing about this character, I would say, is that once you get to the late game, you're pretty much never going to end up using your dino allies because they're not going to keep up to the amount of damage that you're going to end up doing with your ultimate ability and stuff. And if you're wondering about the skin on the character, it's actually a mod on the PC version that I have to give him a Pokemon trainer look. But I'm just saying, you're going to want to build this character towards damage and just keep in mind that the dino babies are not going to end up doing as much damage as uh, anything else. So you don't really end up using them. Even the Triceratops, where uh, he actually base, uh, is scaled off of your base max health for sure. Uh, well, and just max health in general, I mean, not your base. But he still ends up getting one shot by pretty much everything in U9 because they didn't scale these allies properly. So I would avoid tanking as like the plague, like just focus on damage. So for the ring, I just have a garbage one, but you can go for crit hit, magic find, whatever you want. Uh, and then for the ally, of course, he's a magic character. So you're either going for, uh, you know, the prefect penguin, but I would lean towards the chromatic uh, cubesly because he's going to end up making it so that you can use your ultimate ability more often and that's where the bulk of this character's build ends up coming from right same with the chromatic emblem if you can sacrifice sure strike as one of the emblems because of course that one is going to be an essential one is just the arcane emblem and sure strike but if you can sacrifice sure strike for the chromatic that's going to be where it's at I would recommend, even though I'm using these right here, you don't really need these because if you have all damage, you're going to be dead in one shot by enemies in U9. So, of course, go for the death defying vial, but you can swap that out for whatever you want because the Dino Tamer doesn't actually have any uh, energy regen stat to deal with. It means that you can jump around like a freak and uh, it gives him a lot more survivability than most classes. So, you can swap out death defying if you want, but I'll leave that up to you. And either way, thanks so much for watching, everybody. That already pretty much covers it uh the dino tamer i will say in closing can end up being right up there with the gunslinger he's actually one of the higher damage characters in the game and if you end up having uh like the ideal gems he's actually like maybe just under or actually maybe just above the gunslinger as far as his abilities are concerned just because you're going to be able to cast your ult a lot more often than the gunslinger but that's entirely up to you and your playstyle. Personally speaking, I love the Dino Tamer and I find that he's a really fun character, but needless to say, it's up to you uh, whether you want to go for either the Dino Tamer or the Gunslinger as your main, but Dino Tamer is not out for console right now, so when he is in the game, of course, here you go, everybody. Uh -huh. But uh, otherwise, if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below, and I would very much appreciate if you would like, share, favorite, and subscribe for more daily content. Sign or stay epic, everybody.